this is the dingo fence. It's a uh, 5,000 kilometre long fence. It's the, the longest fence in the world. Um, it's, it's, it's longer than the Great Wall of China, but maybe not as well built. And uh, it, its purpose is to keep dingoes out of New South Wales or out of sheep grazing lands. And um, it's very effective. It, it, on this side of the fence, um, we're able to grow sheep because there's no dingoes to kill the sheep. And on this side of the fence, they mainly grow cattle because cattle can cope with dingoes. Mike has been monitoring study sites on both sides of the fence for the last 15 years to see how the removal of the apex predator might have affected the ecosystem as a whole. The dingo fence has been a remarkable natural experiment um, into understanding the effects that apex predators have on ecosystems. Dingoes have not been present in great numbers in New South Wales for um, at least 80 years. And um, you can see the differences everywhere. There's many, many more kangaroos and foxes and cats on this side of the fence. And, and not very many native small mammals like hopping mice or mulgaras or plains mice. On this side of the fence, where the dingoes are, there's, there's very few kangaroos. Hardly any foxes, very few cats, but there's lots of native small mammals. There may only have been one dingo for every 15 square kilometres, but removing that apex predator has transformed the entire ecosystem. In areas without dingoes, the vegetation has been denuded by kangaroos and woody shrubs are taking over. On the other side of the fence, dingoes have kept kangaroo, cat and fox numbers down, giving the native small mammals and vegetation a chance to survive. The change in the ecosystem has been so great, it's visible from space. The areas with dingoes remain greener for longer after rain. They are more productive and have far greater biodiversity. Here in South Australia, where there's lots of dingoes, um, the, the sand dunes are actually a different shape to what the sand dunes are in, just over the border in New South Wales. And the reason for that is that dingoes, by suppressing numbers of foxes and cats, make the environment better for small mammals like hopping mice and mulgaras, and the hopping mice prey upon the, the, the seeds and the seedlings of the shrubs, and so they keep shrub numbers down. And in an environment without the shrubs, there's more movement of sand, and um, we get these much more open environments. The main thing is that predators have these far-reaching effects that extend um, way beyond the species that they consume. 